Okay, so today we're going to talk about uh, what happens when someone with Lewy bodies gets overstimulated and then they become overwhelmed and what might be some emotional reactions you'd see happen. Uh, and we're going to call this the cracker story. Uh, and the reason being it happened this morning. Uh, we were in the kitchen and I had three boxes of crackers and I put two boxes in like a Walmart bag to take to my mom. And uh, I told Hank, I said, go over and put the crackers in a bag because there was one box left. And when I go over there, he can't get them all fit in the bag because he's trying to put the two I've already got in the bag in there. He's trying to put his other box in a bag, which makes three. And I say, what are you doing? Because I'm in a rush and I think nothing about it. And do you remember what you said? And I think I said something like, well, I was just trying to get them all in. He was doing just what I said. I said, put the crackers in a bag. So he was trying to put all of them in the bag. So at that moment then, everything kind of begins to go downhill. And I ask him a question about 30 minutes later. And he said, I'm just not doing very well today. And I said, how come? And he said, well, the crackers... When all that happened, it causes him not to be able to process in his head. He he can't focus on stuff. He don't know what to do. Then he needs more direction on, you know, what clothes will he wear? Does he need to shave? He's got to brush his teeth. Then he needs a lot more direction. So we have found throughout the years that when things like that happens, he's overstimulated, that he becomes overwhelmed, and he does need a whole lot more direction. Uh, I know when we were in North Carolina, working at our private practice. I'm very wound up. I'm very high strung, as you can tell, because I do all the talking. But he, uh, we were sitting at the computer, and I had my back to him, and I was doing stuff, and I was shooting questions at him. And then I said something, and I yelled, not extremely loud, but I did yell at him. And I turned around and looked, and he had begun to shake, and he would begin to cry. And because he cannot handle all of that stimulation going on at once. So those are just things that, you know, takes place when you have Lewy body dementia. And it's not something that people that are caregivers really know about. Uh, and it frustrates us too. So do you want to say something about the cracker story or about being overwhelmed and frustrated sometimes? Well, I know the last couple of days I think I've been doing really well. You have? And I can do a lot of stuff. And... But yeah, it could be something, like Madonna said, just some little something. It don't have to be the crackers. It don't have to be that. It could just be, I didn't understand what she really said. And, and she's gone into another room and I can't, exp you know, talk to her or verify what she really was saying. And then I get frustrated. Uh. And I sit and wait for it to come out, and, and then I'm like, well, what was I supposed to do, you know, or something, because I just can't figure it out at that moment. Right. You know, and a lot of days, something like that could happen, and it wouldn't bother me at all. I mean, it could just be a normal day for me. Like yesterday, I went out and mowed grass, you know, and it, oh, one of the big stress was I found a snake in my basement, and I don't like snakes, but I got it out. But <laughs> and he did really well. I, he, uh, I was in session, and he came in, he knocked on the door, and he said, something's wrong. And I told my client it would take me a minute, and the lawnmower broke, and he said, and I found a snake in the basement. And he mm -hmm. said, I'll need help getting it out. And I said, well, when I get done, I'll come help you get it out. But he took the snake and got it on a stick and carried it and put it over the fence, which was fantastic. Because when I looked at him in the hall, I thought, he's going to be broken down. He, when, you know, when he told me about that, he'll be crying. He'll probably be shaking. He'll be really upset. And another job, you know, for me as the caregiver that I'll have to take care of, which is a burden for me. And over time, we'll probably talk, you know, specifically to caregivers about what caregivers go through also but he didn't he did a really great job and I really complimented him and those are things with people with Lewy body dementia they need compliments I personally think everybody needs a good compliment you know he did a really great job he got the yard done the best he could and he got rid of the snake and 
And this morning you did a really good job with the crackers. <laughs> yeah, right. he did. But it was my fault. I always say that was my issue because I don't know how to talk to him. And, and then, you know, if you're new to Lewy body dementia, you may not realize, but it's, and I say this to Hank, so it's, you know, not something I don't say in front of him, uh, but it's, he has a childlike mind a lot of times. And we have to think of somebody that's a small child. What would a, a four-year-old how you would have to go through that process of explaining it. He takes it literally. He has concrete thinking at this moment. It's not abstract. Uh, I can tell him some days, can you get a fork out of the drawer? And he'll look at me and say, which drawer? And it's like, you know, and I'm thinking, it's that drawer it's always been in. <laughs> but that's not, that's not what he thinks. So I don't want you to think of people that have Lewy body dementia and they're older and they're 55 like Hank, that they're not adults because they are, but they do have childlike thinking at times and we can learn from that and think about it. Hey, a child's going to think concrete. So next time I'll say, hopefully I'll remember and say, hey, there's one box of crackers sitting out. Please put that in a bag. But all of you have to just decide what works for you. And what works for us may work for you, and that's the reason we're sharing it. And if it don't, maybe just us talking about it will help you to see that, you know, hey, here's what I need to do. Nothing's written in stone. Louis body dementia is a roller coaster. And every, every heel's a new struggle on that roller coaster a lot of times. But then sometimes the roller coaster's fun and we have we love those days and we go with them and and we're just happy to be together. We are. After twenty gonna be twenty five years we're we're happy to be together. So so if you have any questions, you have any comments, you can Put them down below, and we'll see what we come up with. And uh, again, my name is Madonna, and this is Hank. And uh, we're new to all this, but we just want to get the word out about Lewy body dementia and anything that you think of that you want us to, to talk about. We'll do what we can. Uh, I'm a mental health counselor. Hank is too. And, you know, I talk with clients all day long, and we just want to help people. So just let us know if you... I always say, just let us know if you need anything, and we'll do what we can to help you. All right, bye-bye.